God damn it. This is great. Welcome to Dad Opinions, starring John Darnielle, the dude from the Mountain Coats. I said slavery a choice, they said hi, yay. Just imagine if they caught me on a wild day. Now I'm on 50 blogs, getting 50 calls. My wife calling, screaming, say we about to lose it all. It's the new Kanye, is that, yeah. Here's the thing about Kanye. We presently are in a time where people cover people's personalities a lot or opinions or whatever, and that's fine, I guess. But I don't care. I only care about somebody's music. Guys like me, who were around for the, the first two waves of rap, are pretty weak for a good Kanye hook. Been sleeping with no clothes on. You never came home. Two nights in a row, where'd you go? I've been smoking. I can't find much to hold on there, except that, you know, the singer sleeps in the nude and so do I, so we have something in common there. This is a weird melange of influences. There was the very Rick Rubin sounding trimmed electric guitar, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah. but then a proper Houdini sort of uh, vibe to the high 808 sound. Nothing seems to have any function beyond color palette. I don't hear any players and I don't hear a singer, I hear an effects chain. I can't hold any interest in that. It's not for me. What is this? This is really interesting music to me. Pretty dark vibe to the hook there. I'm generally more interested in stuff that sort of asks a little more of you, whether it's the intensity of Joni Mitchell's presentation, a voice that tends to cut through stuff, or whether it's death metal. So this felt to me in that kind of ballpark. Unless you become the kind of person who says that music was better when you were in high school, you should avoid that, but statistically speaking, you won't. You will someday say how good things were when you were young. Not me, though. <laughs> God.